So guys, we made it. It's hot as hell here, wow. And there's no escape to the beach. Welcome to Governador Valadares. Deep in the countryside of Brazil lies a small city by the name of Governador Valadares. And over the past 60 years, it's become known as the number one exporter of Brazilian migrants to the US. Or in other words, this city sends more immigrants to the US every year than any other city in Brazil does. It's even become so popular that other Brazilians decided to coin this place a new nickname, Governador Valadolar. And since I'm from South Florida, one of the biggest hotspots for Brazilians from this region, I decided to travel to Governador Valadares and see what it's like. Join me on this adventure as I learn more about the city and how its people became so obsessed with the American dream. Alright guys, cart number two. Anyways, we're going on an adventure today. We're going to a very special place. Out in the middle of nowhere. Well, not too in the middle of nowhere because the train goes there. One of Brazil's only passenger trains that exist. Check it out. Oh. I guess we gotta go in here. So this train that we're on right now, the railway was constructed back in 1910 with the purpose of transporting wood and coffee from mainland Brazil out to the coast so it can be exported to the rest of the world. The railway also went under construction in the 1940s to repurpose itself to transport iron that was mined in mainland Brazil. Check it out guys, you can even see the carts of iron on the other tracks. So you know the thing about traveling in Brazil is that it's very uncommon to travel by train. There's almost no trains in the country, so it's safe to say that most Brazilians have never traveled by train, and that's what turns this whole train journey into some sort of tourist attraction. I mean, people literally just take it because they want to know what it's like to be on a train. Um, and there's also some views. I mean, look, you got this big lake here, mountains in the back. And so that is the 13-hour train journey here that we're on. We're actually only going to take it for six. Pessoal de pagar um de cada vez, tá? So guys, we made it. It's hot as hell here. Wow. And there's no escape to the beach. Welcome to Governador Valadares. Você é aqui? Obrigado. Adivinha? Não sei. Europa? Não. Não? Estados Unidos? Americano? Sim. Oh, tá passeando? Cuidado. You know what's good about talking to people on the train is that you end up meeting someone who can be really helpful. This lady over here found a cheap hotel for us, or at least she said she did. So I'm gonna wait for her, uh, I think we're waiting for her colleague to show up. We're gonna go check into the hotel, get rid of this big boy, and explore the city of Governador Valadares. Governador Valadares. Cuidado que sem também. Esse aqui, ó. Esse passa aqui rouba muito. Ah. Sem cordão. Aqui esse passa e leva. Ah, ok. Tem que ter muito ladrão. We're gonna have to be careful around here in Governador Valadares. Mini America in Brazil. 
as they say. Muitas pessoas aqui vão para morar nos Estados Unidos. Aqui é a cidade. Eu acho que mais que metade da população mora lá nos Estados Unidos, daqui. Por quê? É porque eles saem daqui para ganhar muito dinheiro. Eles acham que dinheiro vale tudo. Dinheiro não é tudo que vale a felicidade. Larga seu vínculo familiar, sai, larga a criança dessa mãezinha, larga papai e mamãe e some, nunca mais volta. Meu sobrinho foi, tem mais ou menos um ano. Ficou três dias numa árvore, escondido. Três dias, sem comer, sem beber numa árvore. Onde? Indo para os Estados Unidos ilegal. Esse aqui, ó, acabei Oi. de ver dentro do trem. Oi, Aí eu vou lá para Prazer. É muito perigoso fazer o que você faz. Não acha? Por, como assim? É perigoso você ficar rodando no Brasil sozinho. É muito perigoso andar sozinho. Você não entendeu? Eu tô com você. Ah, tá bem. Cada vez. Se losing her confidence as to where this hotel is. I thought she knew her stuff. Anyways, guys, we're in the commercial center of Governador Valadares. Check it out. Cidinha, cadê o? Nós passamos. Let's go. Of course we did. Of course we passed the hotel. Where where could it be? Let's go before you get us uh, in trouble here, Cidinha. Let's go. I gotta admit, I like the energy so far. There's people in the streets. Smiley people in the streets. Você tem família lá? Não, tem dois irmãos lá, né? Dois irmãos lá? É. Qual estado? Você que tem um lá que 20 anos que tá lá, o outro vai fazer um ano que tá lá. Uau, qual estado? Eu só não sei onde faz estado onde que ele tá lá. Mas tem um lá que tem 20 anos que tá lá, o outro um ano que vai pra um ano que tá lá. E você, um você quer ir também? Mas não fala nada de me levar eu. Me falar de levar eu vou. Não, Mas é. Não fala não. Só um que agora que foi lá, tem um ano que foi, teve que vender o carro dele, vender moto dele. Teve que usar, pra, usar o dinheiro dele que tava na conta dele pra ir. Ok, I think we found our hotel. I'm just gonna follow Cidinha. And hope we get there safely. Making some nice friends in the street so far. All right, this is our second attempt at a hotel. This is the type of stuff you don't find on Booking. Yeah. I mean, these prices. Ten dollars, twenty dollars. Cidinha, muito obrigado. Vou subir, vou botar a bolsa lá. Okay, go. Obrigado. We got it, guys. Suite 472. Well, now that we're finally checked into the hotel, we can finally explore Governador Valadares. I'm here in the center, as you can see. And oh, <laughs> it seems like someone's doing a, some news station, TV show. I don't know what's going on. Let's go find out. Huh? Eu posso, mas você não respondeu minha pergunta. Por que o governador Valadares vai muita gente para os Estados Unidos? Isso. Primeiro, money, dólar. Né? É, muitos bairros aqui se formaram por causa das pessoas né, que estão nos Estados Unidos. Investiram principalmente na área de, de, de imóveis. Entendeu? Então é por causa disso. Né? Às vezes porque aqui falta indústria. O campo de trabalho aqui é muito pouco. Não há reconhecimento né? também. Aí, o que, que acontece? É, no meado dos anos 50, 60, começaram o pessoal a ir para os Estados Unidos para lá. E um puxa o outro, entendeu? Então, existe essa febre aqui. É difícil você achar um baladarense que não tem um parente que não, que não está nos Estados Unidos. Né? É o sonho de todo baladarense é de morar lá, de estar lá. Everyone has family in the United States. Everyone in this town. I've been here for an hour. I've spoken to like three or four people. Everyone's got a relative in the U.S. It's mind-blowing. In the middle of nowhere here in Brazil. Você tem vontade de ir para lá? Eu já tentei uma vez, não consegui. Aí eu não vou tentar mais. 
que o meu mano parece de lá, né? E parece que é de lá. É, parece de lá, velho. Parece mais bem. gringo que eu. Papo, é. Oh, oh, ah, This guy looks more American than me. Check it out. Você parece, você passa mais gringo que eu, velho. Parece mais gringo. O drip aqui dos cria de Armani, né, Lau? Tá de Armani. Já. Tô largadão. Você tá filmando já, mano? Bota aí uma batida pra ele. Que cantar. We got an MC in the making here in Governador Valadares. What's up, family? I am Genius MC. I am Brazilian Trapper. I have a dream in Young Rich Trapper. Yeah. My brother uh, listening sound. Drew. I am Driller. Improvisation. Yeah, freestyle. Yes, freestyle. What can you do? Yeah. Será que vai sair aí, normal? Pof, mas aqui tá de boa. Isso que é o quê? É... É drill, né? É drill. Ah, deixa eu falar do que que eu tô sentindo. Ultimamente eu confesso, meu mano, que eu já não tenho dormido. Isso é mais saúde. Se pá um dia eu vou ficar até rico. Faça essa merda, meu mano. Eu não sei porquê, mas minha vida é assim. Eu trafico mesmo. Ninguém me deu uma oportunidade. Ninguém quis me abraçar nessa cidade. Fazer o que? Se pá vida você conseguir vencer, tem que ter habilidade. 100% tô na sagacidade. Fechamento só com meus de verdade. Se essa porra um dia estourar, eu vou lembrar de quem me ajudou. Não foi fraude. E faça merda toda mão, meu mano. Tem uns comédia aqui que passa pano, mano. Taca fogo, nos inveja, deixa esses cara falando Nós viemos da favela, onde os tiro tão trocando E as crianças sempre bela, vamos sonhar com futuro melhor Desativar desarmados B.O. Toda mão vejo os moleque morrendo bem cedo Meu mano por causa de pó, já cansei disso Quero fazer minha cara no improviso, eu não brinco serviço Isso daqui é freestyle de verdade, essa merda é o deck Eu te apresento o bingo, hein? quem sabe até um cassino hein? Poderia ser assassino mas em vez disso eu sou um menino Que em triste eu continuo sorrindo Nunca vão entender o porquê Mas mesmo assim, sem desmerecer Sei de onde eu vim, sei pra onde eu vou Quem sabe pro mesmo lugar que você Mano, style, mano, mano style. Pra te falar a Mas verdade é. Isso foi foda bro. É nóis, tamo junto, tamo junto meu mano Tamo junto That was amazing é, meu Instagram é Diniz MC, Diniz Underline MC. Diniz MC, é, vou nós botar lá pra aí, galera. É, nós estamos juntos, é, é tá bravo, ligado? Muito obrigado pela oportunidade. Valeu. Meu mano aqui é o G3, G3. I found another indicator of the United States right here in Governador Valadares. We got Joe's Pizza, New York style. And it's closed in the middle of the day. Joe's probably ran away to the United States. That's what I'm thinking right now. He, he's off, he's left. He's left the town like everyone else. Back in 1942, when the railway here needed to go under construction, the Brazilians brought in a bunch of American engineers from the US to help with the work. And while they were working here, they were actually living here in the town of Governador Valadares. They were getting to know the people, the people were getting to know them. But when the work was complete, most of them went back to the US. However, one of the engineers, known as Mr. Simpson, decided to stay here in Governador Valadares with his wife, Mrs. Simpson. And they eventually ended up opening an English school, which the children of the elite of the town were able to attend, because it's not as accessible for people who don't have a lot of money. But anyways, after they learned English, became more familiar with the US traditions and the culture, they became inspired and wanted to go live there. So they did that, and slowly but surely, one after the other, more and more people of Governador Valadares ended up moving to the US. And that's what ended up making it so popular until this day for people here to migrate to the US. All right, guys, I just stepped out of the Javiana store, got myself some Brazilian flip-flops. You're gonna find out why when you see my shower in the hotel room. <laughs> You're in for a treat. $10 a night here in Governador Valadares for $10 a night. Look what you will get for $10 a night. For $10 a night, you will get a lovely bed, hard as a rock, 
with some duty on it too. Nice little white sheet to keep you warm in the room that's already scorching hot because there's no air conditioning. A towel, well, we're not gonna look at the towel because I'm sure that there are dirty spots on it and I don't wanna know about them. You know, we got a great TV here. I'm sure it's working just fine. Another blanket that we're not gonna use. Some closet space, a desk, so we can get some editing done. And thank God I got these Havaianas so I can take a shower because the shower is really the best part of this place. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. Um, at least there's a window for whatever ventilation we can get here. Mirror, sink, that works. No soap. Let's go, let's check out the bathroom and the shower, which is right in front of us. Oh boy, any lights? Oh, no lights. Oh, there is a light, there we go. Here's a toilet. Of course, there's no toilet paper and no proper toilet seat. We'll hop over in the shower. What we got? Beautiful Gobernador Valadares shower. Wow. I mean, what can I expect? Ten dollars a night. Ten dollars a night. This is what I get, guys. That's what it is. Guys, you're not gonna believe it. Right here in the middle of Governador Valadares, there's a statue that resembles an immigrant. A Governador Valadarian immigrant on his way to the US, or almost on his way to the US. He's got a backpack on. Kind of reminds me of myself, although he's Brazilian and I'm not. But anyways, can't you see why this town is so obsessed with the idea of getting the hell out of here? Imagine growing up here as a kid. All you hear about is your cousin, uncle, aunt, or father or mother even leaving to the United States, or at least trying to. And then you got a statue smack in the middle of your town that reminds you, you should go to the US or anywhere else that's not here. No wonder. Todo mundo quer ir. Na verdade, é a realidade de todo mundo quer ir para os Estados Unidos. Aqui de Valadares, porque Valadares é meio quente, Estados Unidos é mais frio, Valadares se sofre um pouquinho do calor. Todo mundo que conhece quer ir para Valadares, quer procurar oportunidades lá nos Estados Unidos. Trabalhar lá, ganhar dinheiro, voltar para carrinho, entendeu? Guys, <laughs> oh my god, it's absolutely cooking out here. Holy shit. <laughs> I just wanted to fill my face for this one. I'm sweating my ass. Oh my God, it's so hot here. Nobody even deserves to live here, man. Oh. And there's no escape. You have parents here in the States? And you have to go there? My dream, I Today's activity is going to explore the island of Governador Valadares. Check it out. We got this bridge that'll take us straight to the island. I don't really know what to expect. I know that we have the Rio Doce, the sweet river here. It doesn't look so sweet, but uh, yeah. The Brazilian Danube. The Governador Valadarian Danube. Almost like in Europe. It's so beautiful. All right, guys. So, honestly, I think this wraps it up for our trip here in Governador Valadares. The whole point of the trip was really just to come down and see the place. There's really not much going on. Um, my main takeaway, personally, was that, you know, the will to immigrate, the dream to immigrate to the United States or to another country to a better future is something that's very prevalent all around the world. So I wouldn't go to say that 
Governador Valadares is the only place in the world like this. Obviously not. But I still do think that the main difference between this place and other places in that aspect is that in other places, it really kind of depends on your family and your situation and how much money you have. Whereas here, I feel like it's really gotten into the heads of everyone. Um, even the people who are doing okay here just kind of still have in their head like, you know, we should be having more. We should get more. We should be going to the United States um, because of what's gone on here, because of the engineers that came here in the 40s, uh, because of success stories of their family members, um, for whatever reason. I just thought it was super interesting. I thought that it was a good idea to come here just to see it with my own eyes because the first group of Brazilians that I met were actually originally from here. And so, yeah, uh, that's pretty much the video guys I don't know what else to say I know maybe we could have done some more touristy stuff around here but the only thing is the uh, you know the paragliding thing it's very famous here I'm kind of a pussy I don't like jumping I have, I have a fear of heights so just whatever you, you can call me a pussy in the comments I don't care uh, but that's the situation so anyways I hope you enjoyed the cultural trip I hope you enjoyed the interactions and yeah stay tuned for more here in Brazil